bloom where you're planted. That's the message that I found carved into one of the old wooden library desks here at William Carey University when I was a freshman. Now, I was a freshman who went home nearly every weekend, who really didn't want to be here a few hours away from where I'm from. That's the last message I wanted to hear, bloom where you're planted. It was the last message I wanted to hear, but it was the message I needed to see. Every time I walk by that table in the, in the library, bloom where you are planted. You see, many of us, this is just one stop on our life's journey. Some of us end up staying here at William Carey University in Hattiesburg, Mississippi for the rest of our lives. But for most, this is just one stop in your life's path, in your life's journey. And we can be tempted to hold ourselves back from being fully invested in this place and in the people around us. You see, I needed that message, bloom where you were planted, to be a constant reminder that God has called each and every one of us to live our lives fully present wherever we are, among whomever we are among. You see, the message that we find in Jeremiah 29 is written to God's people who have been taken captive, who have been taken prisoner to a place, Babylon, that was not their home. And as they arrived in Babylon and as they were worried about the future and what it would hold, they didn't want to unpack their stuff. They didn't want to unpack the meager existence they still had there and settle down in Babylon. And even their leaders were telling them, hey, look, this is only temporary. This is only one stop. God's going to take us back to Jerusalem. Don't get comfortable. Don't settle down. But this is what the Lord God said to his people through Jeremiah the prophet. Jeremiah wrote this letter to them from God. Jeremiah 29, starting in verse 4, says, This is what the Lord Almighty says. To all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon, build houses, settle down, plant gardens, and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons. Give your daughters in marriage so that they, too, may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there. Do not decrease. Also, seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Yes, this is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Do not let the prophets and diviners among you deceive you. Do not listen to them. Do not listen to the dreams you encourage them to have. They are prophesying lies to you in my name. I have not sent them, declares the Lord. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for, for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. See that verse that we often talk about, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Was written to a people who thought that where they were was only going to be temporary. But God tells them, in a sense, bloom where you were planted. He tells them, in 70 years, I will bring you back to your homeland. 70 years is a lifetime. Most of the people who heard this message, who might have read this letter, would never see their homeland again. But God did not tell them, give up hope. He said, bloom where you were planted. Settle down. Get busy living. Be fully invested in the place and around and the people around you where you are in Babylon. Don't draw back, don't decrease, but increase and seek the prosperity of the city that you're in. That might be the very message you need to hear, to bloom where you are planted, to stop holding back the good things God has given you that could bless others around you, that you miss your life in the here and now for something in the future. See, if we all had the mentality that we were going to save ourselves for this fabled perfect place and perfect people one day, somewhere down our life's path, then we would miss out on all of the living, all of the life God has in store for us now. Bloom where you were planted. That's easier said than done. There's three things I want to encourage you to do. To bloom where you were planted. I assume that if you're watching this video, you are here on our Hattiesburg campus or, or near Hattiesburg, but maybe you're far off in another city, in another town, maybe even another country. It doesn't really matter. I want to encourage you to bloom where you are planted and be invested in the place and the people where you are currently. For most of us, that's Hattiesburg, Mississippi. And so first of all, I want to encourage you, what the Bible tells us is God's people function best spiritually and ethically 
and we are connected to a faithful community of believers where we live. So I want to encourage you to join a local church. Here in this Canvas shell, we've made it really easy for you. There's 12 intro videos to 12 local churches that we think are pretty good. They're our church partners. There are many other churches that we could have showcased. There's many other churches that I would love to showcase in the future. But these 12 churches are a great starting place for you. If you have not found a church family yet, I want to encourage you to join one of these local bodies of believers, one of these local faith families, to grow in your spiritual walk, to find the ways that God has equipped you and gifted you, to spend your resources and your time blessing the city and blessing the people around you through your local church. Secondly, I want to encourage you to get involved with some of our local community service organizations. Once again, right here in this Canvas course, we have provided a list of local organizations that we work with with our annual HubServe. And now while we work with them in mass for our Carry Wow HubServe event one time of the year, and then we work with them at key points throughout the year, they're operating all the time, all throughout the year. And I want to encourage you to find something that fits kind of the way you're shaped, what you've been equipped uh, to do in this world and are gifted and maybe have a passion for. But please get involved with one of our local community service partners and continue to bloom where you're planted. And then thirdly, last and not least, I'm the Baptist Student Union Campus Ministries Director here at William Carey University. I want to encourage you, if you're a, a student here on this campus, I want you to come and, and come meet me at the BSU, come meet some of our student leaders, come to our Monday night service at 7 p.m. in the King Student Center, student event room on the first floor. Every Monday night we gather together and have a time of worship. I want to encourage you to get involved with our campus ministry here at William Carey University to grow alongside other believers and to reach the lost for Jesus. Serve in Jesus' name. Connect to a local body of believers. Work with our local community service partners. Be a part of our campus ministries. Bloom where you were planted.